Okay, we've got our vertical stabilizer and our elevator already mounted. The clevis and control arms are already hooked up. Today, we're going to open up and cut some of the battery box out so that we can fit the larger three cell battery in the 2200 milliamp three cell we're going to mount our elevator and our rudder control uh, servos we're going to install our 480 brushless motor we've salvaged out of our T28 Trojan from Hobby Zone, Park Zone a 30 amp ESC and then we're going to take her out and fly her so let's get to it. Now the existing bracket on your bare fuselage that you're going to buy at the hobby shop already comes with the angles for slight down and slight right so that you can counteract the torque roll. I went ahead and marked where I'm going to put my mounting bracket and fasten it on and I went ahead and pre-drilled my holes for the screws. But first, I'm going to take a hot glue gun and just try to reinforce this a bit. And before I do any of that, my ESC is going to need a lot more room than the original two wires. So I'm going to take and hog out a hole here so that one, I can mount it inside, and two, plenty of air is going to blow past it. So I'll get to that, and we'll come back when it's done. Alright, after measuring and putting the hole through our firewall, I realized that our ESC does not have a long enough wire, so it'll make it easy to connect and disconnect the battery. So I figured I'd give you a little soldering tip and make things easier for you. Now, I've got the little hobby hands, alligator clips, those are okay, but if you want any, any type of easy way to solder your bullet connectors, just drill a couple small holes into a piece of wood, a piece of scrap you can find anywhere on a job site and get to soldering them. Warm it right up, leave it there for a couple seconds and you still want to keep it held on there. Melt enough solder in, not so much it's going to splash out Put your wire in and remove. Make sure you wipe off your tip. And you're on. I'm going to get these finished up. We'll be right back. Alright, now that our speed control's in place, we've got plenty of air to breathe past it. We've got our extension wires on here, so when we go to put our battery in, it's going to be a lot easier. I've gone ahead and mounted the motor. Now, I'm a little anal retentive. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and there between the bracket and the plastic on the nose and a little dab on each screw so nothing vibrates out. And I've gone ahead and I've opened up the uh, top of the battery bay. Now I'm going to go and make a little ba box with some scrap Depron here and that way our battery is not going to rattle around. It has a little cushion and it stays nice and stable. All right, well, our stops for the battery to keep it a little more stable or in place. And you can see I left a couple notches out. That way air can pass by and keep it nice and cool. Now that this is done, we can plug everything into the receiver, make sure all our throws are in the right direction, and give it all a final test. And then we'll do a test flight. Also, a little dab of glue, like I said, on the screws, and a couple extras on the bracket just to make sure nothing's vibrating. Well, let me get this all hooked up, and we'll be out of the field. I noticed the original Trojan prop I had for this wasn't uh, looking so hot, so I wanted to be sure I put one of these uh, 9x6 APC props on. So let's give it a try with the bigger motor and ailerons and flaps and all, and see how it does, and if we have to tweak anything or crash the snot out of it. I have all this dust up.
pork roll. Not bad. Very quiet. Alright, all in all, I'm not unimpressed. I did go with this 9x6 instead of a 9.5x7.5, so I think I might prop up a little bit and see how it does. I have to make a couple of adjustments, just trim it out a little bit more fine-tuned, and I think I'll be good to go. Now I could put a, this is a uh, 15C 3-cell 2200 milliamp battery. I could go up to a 30C and it'll get a little more burst, um, but I know I can get a little bit more speed and a little bit more acceleration if I go with that 9.5 by 7.5. Other than that, she's a sharp little plane. I'm going to get it monocoated, do a couple more things to it. Next week, I'm going to go up larger wheels so it lands a little bit better on the grass. Same thing, larger tail wheel. And I'm going to change this elevator so that it works more efficiently with the prop. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate. Leave a nice comment if you feel like it. Thanks.